Come on, run. Tindy, get me some on, Margot. This one's a bit off. Well, you're back, Mr. Van Rumpoy. Another two and a half years, no doubt a reward for your great success. Indeed, listening to you, I thought perhaps I'd got it all wrong. You talked about how positive the last council meeting had been, that we've reached the turning point, that everything's going swimmingly, and I, I, I was beginning to believe it. And then I realised you didn't mention the D word, default. Now, that can't be talked about. We pretend there hasn't been a default, when we know, in fact, in Greece last week, there was a very major credit event. And indeed, listening to all of you this morning reminds me of the great British comedy classic, Carry On Up the Khyber, where the colonial English go on having dinner, uh, ignoring the fact that disaster, impending disaster, is all around them. You are determined but delusional in this attempt to keep the euro propped up. And, and whilst you're enjoying your dinner, incoming shells are landing all around you. Youth unemployment in Greece went through 50% last week. That's fine. Carry on. Serve the main course. And you'll have seen yesterday that 110 German bondholders of Greek bonds are now going to take legal action against the banks and against the Greek government. But don't worry, chaps. Uh, carry on. Everything is going to be fine. But perhaps the biggest bombshell is the German finance minister saying just yesterday nobody can exclude a third bailout. Pass the port. Do enjoy the party. I mean, it's a farcical situation. And why is it happening? That's what people in Europe want to know. Why is this happening? Is this being done to help Greece? No. It is going to crucify Greece. It is being done to prop up a failing project. Because you know that once Greece goes, others will go as well. And some of the language. Mr Barroso, when leaders stand up and say that political moves are irreversible, History has one lesson. You are always, always going to be proved to be wrong. You mean they're going on with the dinner? Yes, Highness. Oh, no, this is ridiculous. What must one do to arouse these idiots? Lydia! <laughs> I said you've got a little plaster. <laughs> <laughs> Trick. <laughs>